11 past the hour, Memorial Day, the unofficial start to summer. A lot of people are traveling, so we want to make sure that your car is in tip-top shape. And that starts with the tires. Five-time NASCAR Sprint Cup Series winner Brad Keselowski is joining us from Mooresville, North Carolina. And Brad, thanks for being with us this morning. I was shocked to learn that 15% of people are keeping their tires properly maintained. I don't know about everyone else. I love putting air in my tires, getting the gauge out to see what my number is at. What's going on with everybody? Well, you know, everybody's in a rush nowadays, and you can understand that, but uh, tire safety is still extremely important. And, uh, you know, obviously, like you said, Memorial Day weekend, a lot of guys traveling. Hopefully, a lot of them coming here to Charlotte for race weekends or to Indianapolis uh, for the 500. But uh, a lot of people just going on vacation, and we want to make sure they stay safe. Okay, so how does heat affect the tires, and should they be, you know, where should they be at? You don't want to overinflate them or underinflate them. How does that all work? Absolutely. You know, underinflation is just as bad as overinflation. And basically what you're trying to do is prevent a catastrophic tire failure uh, that can really cause a lot of damage and can get you hurt. So as part of the uh, Be Tire Smart program, I'm here with the Discount Tire Car and give a little demonstration of what you want to look for so uh, you don't have any of those issues. First thing you got is obviously, like you said, tire inflation. We just take this little gauge here. A lot of your cars will have them in it. Or if your car doesn't have one of these, you can go to Discount Tire. They'll check it for free. But you want to check your air pressure. Just real simple. Just like that, it'll give you a reading. And you say, well, what's the proper reading? Most cars will say right inside your door, so you can just check inside your door handle. Another thing you want to do is look for tire wear. That's very simple, too. This thing everybody's got, it's a penny. You just turn it upside down and check it. If you can see Lincoln's head, you got problems. If you can't, your tire's fine. So, two quick and easy things to look for to make sure your tires are great. All right, Brad, that was awesome. By the way, good luck. Uh, in the season there, and uh, don't get too hot in those cars because it is certainly going to be hot. And we're going to talk more about that heat coming up on your weather today. But Jen right now has our morning weather headlines. Jen, uh, Steph, thank you. That penny trick is a good one. Thank you, Brad. Well, coming up here.